Hello, Earth signs. So that would be Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Welcome to your September reading with me for 2019. I'm going to use the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck this month. So if you're not into that, um, then I suggest you just turn the video off now. I'm also going to use the Zodiac Oracle, as I always do. With these, I'm going to use the Angels of Abundance deck the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards, and the Secret Language of Color cards as well. And I'm going to do um, a week by week and a theme. So if you're craving more, um, <clears throat> remember you can listen for your Sun, Moon, and Ascendant Rising signs. So if you have um, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant Rising in another element, you can check that out as well. Um, I'm also open to potentially doing the uh, doing like an extended version for the signs um, if if it's requested. So. Um, you can let me know if that's something you'd really like to see. And I have a year-round menu, too. Um, so you can check that out on my Facebook page. September 2019. Earth Signs. One more deck to shuffle here. Okay, start off with the Zodiac cards, Venus and Uranus. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a color card as a theme and a goddess card as a theme. Okay. So you have Venus, Uranus, Bridget, Burgundy, Awaken Your Passion. So there's very um, beautiful earthy energy here that I think is working in your favor with Venus, the planet of beauty, of uh, money, of love. Um, <clears throat> and if you're a Taurus, then this is your ruling planet. If um, any, you know, Capricorn and Virgo, this would be... Um, a ruling planet of your sister sign. So this is a very beautiful, harmonious energy, I think, um, to see coming up for you. And we have Uranus here, which can be surprises. Um, it can be a change. It can be, um, I think, friendships and um, humanitarianism and futuristic uh moving forward we're moving forward now <clears throat> that's the message that's coming through from my guides we had some retrograde stuff going on and i think you know some of the planets maybe still are retrograde i think uranus just went retrograde um but for the most part we have this forward moving energy here and there's an element here of like moving into the future you have bridget don't back down stand up for what you believe is right and burgundy awaken your passion so um, definitely a forward moving energy here coming from this I, I spoke about this earthy energy with venus but there's also this like fiery energy of uh, your your own energy flow your own chi and vitality and creative energy um, so it's safe to awaken your passion and let your yourself be guided by your values and your passion here and and move forward also stand up for what you believe is right um, comes up so there's definitely a theme here for you for you all um, involving your values and um, yeah what you think is right what your path is what 
what is um, your passion, what motivates you. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the uh, week by week. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. These are approximate weeks. Okay, so um, the energies may overlap a little bit. Abundance deck. I really, you know, this deck I've been using most of the time as like in the general rather than for each week, but I don't know. I just feel like it's okay to do that this this week, this month. It's okay to um, use these cards for each week. Card signs. All right, week one, you have that passion again coming up, divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What's your heart's true desire? Okay, so passion without direction can be dangerous. So the guides are suggesting right in the beginning of September for you to get in touch with what's your heart's true desire. Where do you want your energy to go, right? Be honest with yourself about that. And then you have this energy that's going to start flowing in that direction. Yet more fiery energy, watchtower of the south, summer. Um, you know, I think there's a message here about how summer's still here. It's it's coming to a close, but it's still here. So appreciate it while it's here and enjoy it while it's here. This also has to do with things coming to flourishing, you know, coming into bloom, flourishing. Um, so, you know, b being open to that and faithful for that, the universe is trying to bring things to you. Then you also have Capricorn, the 10th house, showing up reversed and declutter. So some of you may um, have, have been experiencing or start experiencing some blockages or imbalances related to your career, life purpose, could be job or work related as well. Um, it could be, you know, self-discipline and being able to make forward progress. Um, and that's showing up here because... It, you can take action to heal that and to bring those energies back into balance and have um, forward moving flow again in those areas. Declutter uh, says you'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. I do think this could be um, mental, emotional clutter as well as physical clutter. So, um, you know, being mindful of that. And it's not saying give away things or get rid of things that you don't want to. It's definitely saying come from your heart, right? But if you have things that are bogging you down, it could be just cleaning, you know, doing like a cleaning of your home, getting rid of the cobwebs and things like that that are energetically bringing you down. Or it may be things like old souvenirs or, um, you know, junk paperwork or um, anything like that. And doing the work to clear that out, I think, is really going to help you um, with this blockage, this imbalance here with your life purpose energy. And um, in many ways, just free up channels uh, for your chi to flow and your passion to flow in the direction that supports you and your life purpose and your career and your ambitions and um, building, building things. Okay. <clears throat> so the second week we have another summary card. Wow. <clears throat> Litha intensification. You have um, Freya Bold. Unleash your adventure side, take risks, and be daring. Scorpio, the eighth house, and power of prayer. 
so Scorpio is a very transformative energy. It can be. Um, it can be an energy of merging and bonding as well. Um, Scorpio in the 8th house, the 8th house does um, govern debts and loans and group funding, shared resources. Um, it also governs um, sex and deep intimacy and, and deep truths within, our, within ourselves and um, honest communication. Um, it governs <clears throat> magic and transformation, like I mentioned, and our power, true empowerment. Um, and it's showing up right side up, which looks like it's in your favor, right? Um, power of prayer says, give this situation to God for upheeling and healing, uplifting and healing, and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you to gives to you in response of your prayers. So Scorpio is an energy where the eighth house Scorpio energy is an energy where you want to go past the surface of things. You want to go deep within, you want to go deep into things. And um, I feel like, you know, that's being accentuated by this card here because it's asking you to kind of release fears, release doubts, and be really honest with yourself about what it is that you want. You know, first and second week are saying that. Be really honest with yourself about what you want. But then it's also saying, go ahead and believe in the divine guidance that comes to you from God in response to your prayers and what you've been asking for. And it says, be open to miracles, um, you know, strengthening your faith, believing in um, unlimited resources, love, and answers that are awaiting you. So, um, you know, that might be for some of you about building courage um, uh, to be able to do that, but empowering yourself for sure. Litha intensification. This is also, you know, these are these are cards that really speak of power um, and radiance and the ability to shine and, and energy. Okay, intensification. So things might be getting intense. You might be, you know, whatever your emotions are, they might be intensifying. Um, so <clears throat> the spirit guides are urging you to uh, try to balance yourself out and have positive emotions or, you know, if negative emotions come up, rebalance them and, and release and relax and bring yourself back to faith and bring yourself um, below the surface level of things into the deeper truths um, so that what is coming to a peak, coming to light, coming into bloom is, um, you know, helpful and pleasant and useful. Unless, you know, your path is choosing you to have something that appears ugly and nasty and very challenging um, because you want to overcome that, then that's your path. But um, it has the potential to be very beautiful, I think, here. Bold, unleash your adventure side, take risks and be daring, have fun. Um, there might be, you know, some things where you're being asked to come out of your comfort zone a little bit in order for things to transform into what you would like them to. You might be, um, spirit, your heart, uh, might be asking you to take some sort of risk, some sort of chance. Um, I'm going to read this card one more time just because I feel like I should. It says, give this situation to God for upheeling. Uh, uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heavens unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance god gives to you in response to your prayers so listen deep within um and it you don't have to wait around for an answer though i mean like you don't have to just sit there all week in meditation go out forget about it you know enjoy yourself um enjoy the summer but when your intuition strikes, it's a good idea to listen to it, okay? So I'm just going to put this out there for some of you, the opportunity um, for, you know, getting loans or some sort of joint funding might arise. Some of you might have inheritances um, coming in with Scorpio, this eighth house here. 
um, or again, it could be something else. It could be romantic, it could be a sexual union, partnership of some sort coming in. Listen to your higher self for sure, um, and and follow your intuition for sure. Um, our messages that come up. So now we have cooler colored cards. The second and the third week. So, I'm sorry, the third week is what we're on here. We have Maybon Balance coming up. So for those of you who don't know, Maybon or Maboon or however you pronounce it <coughs> is um, an ancient um, Sabbat, basically a holiday um, or festival that occurs on or around the first day of autumn. So this is the energy of the very beginning of autumn and welcoming in autumn. It also happens um, when the sun goes into Libra, and Libra is the scales, it's a sign of balance, and here we have that word balance here. So next we have Butterfly Maiden Transformation. It says you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. You have Jupiter, the planet of good luck, benevolence, good fortune, blessings. Um, expansion, um, philosophy, and higher learning coming in. So again, this looks really good, but just be aware that, um, you know, this energy, Jupiter, expands whatever is there. So it's like I was talking about with the second week. If you're really focused on negative stuff, it's apt to expand that way. So again, we have this energy of Maybon balance coming in, showing its importance, okay? It's important to keep grounding. Even if, if things are going really well, you may want to, you know, bring yourself back to center, do grounding, you know, don't, um, you know, keep up with your exercise routine or your healthful daily habits, your chores, whatever that needs to be done in order to maintain balance and harmony and groundedness so that um, you don't get hyperactive and just have things ex over expand in a way that's not going to serve you. Um, yeah, you're ex experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. So the intent of the universe is to bring in great blessings to you. Uh, having faith and optimism with Jupiter here is really helpful, as well as that balance card, maintaining balance. Focus on your priorities. <clears throat> it says where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Okay, <clears throat> so one of the messages that comes through from my guides for you for this third week of September or around the third week of September is... Um, <clears throat> definitely like highlighting that part about making time for your priorities even if it's a small amount of time so bringing in like um you know if you you want to get more fit for an example if you're overweight or f you just want to get more fit um, take action on that even if it's small consistent action brings us back to that Capricorn energy over time it's going to make a big difference okay so if you're especially with Jupiter here that expansion energy um, you know even if you're just taking five minutes a day whereas before you were taking none no like scheduled um, ritualistic regular self-disciplined um, <laughs> action on this goal if you do so now even if you just take like five minutes in the morning to lift some weights or do some stretching or whatever it is 10 minutes whatever is right for you and you practice it consistent consistently it's going to make a big difference so whatever your priorities are you might want to take note of them and make a little bit of time for them and put them into your routine so over time that can grow and the transformation can occur and what, what transforms is you know what you 
are tired of or sick of transforms into something that's fresh and that is you know your goals or is what you're desiring what you want to manifest okay um what else was there with that Yeah, with Jupiter and the Butterfly Maiden here, um, everything that the cards that came up here for you, it mentioned how you might be feeling some anxiety. Really important to ground and balance yourself out to channel those energies down because it's actually really good, but if you don't do that, it might seem very negative and you might bring about a lot more turmoil and um, you know, nervousness and anxiety than you really need to. So grounding is going to help you enjoy the transformation more and have it um, balanced in a more healthy sort of way. You might get start getting overwhelmed or really excited, um, or some of you might even have like demands and, and pressures put on you and wanting to have things happen instantly, wanting to make things that are really big occur overnight. Um, so in grounding that energy and applying balance and understanding that there's like divine timing involved and it's supposed to happen a little more gradually um i think you can ride the wave more gracefully and for some of you you know this may be let's see the third week of september is when the first week um the first day of autumn occurs is when maybon occurs some of you may choose to celebrate maybon or you know just um kind of appreciate the change of seasons occurring maybe plan ahead for the autumn um, if that's one of your priorities whatever we do have that transformation really being highlighted for you so here we go um the next one the fourth week is <clears throat> Guinevere, true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Watchtower of the North, winter. Taurus, reversed. And block out distractions. Okay. So, Taurus, reversed. Taurus is um, an earth sign. Some of you may be Tauruses. And... <laughs> It has to do with what you have, um, the job you have, the resources you have, um, the skills that you have, and the quality of those things. And it's showing up reverse, indicating a blockage or an imbalance there. Some of you might not be feeling quite yourself for part of uh, the week or, you know, that expansive energy, the change of seasons that was occurring that third week of September may have sort of just knocked you um or derailed you slightly okay don't let it get blown out of proportion just bring yourself back to center um take you may want to take note or of what you have kind of take st inventory of what you have already um and appreciate that again you might want to do some grounding um but that comes up to sort of you know because it's it's time um, to become aware of the blockage imbalance here or to um, heal the blockage or imbalance here. So if what you have is not of the quality that you want, it may be time to flush it out or to fix it. Um, if you're lacking something, it might be time to go after it. If you feel like you don't have enough money, it might be time to ask for a raise. If you feel like you don't, if you don't have a job, it might be time to get a job. If you don't have, um, the the romance that you want in your life it might be time to go for it or the universe might be bringing this to you naturally okay this is you know very individual person to person case to case type um stuff we do have the watchtower of the north winter here which to me is indicating a time of kind of going within reflecting resting uh, relaxing, rejuvenating, but also there might be an element of survival here. Some of you might, there might have been like a cut to resources. Um, and some of you, it just might be asking you to reflect on that um, or to take it easy 
okay and definitely saw you know with that third week that expansive energy um, now with this fourth week it's like it's time to pull the energy in a little bit takes take a look at what you have take inventory sort of rest reflect maybe do some journaling um, that kind of thing and then you have a true love so love is on the way love is already here for you um, and I think this card comes up for some of you because you can focus on that you know you can focus on the fact that the universe is giving you time to um, appreciate what it is that you have in your life already and to think things over to reflect to heal to rejuvenate to um, recover for some of you this may be a new or old romance um, igniting okay or some sort of platonic you know love help assistance coming in it says block out distractions your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention so it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important you already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out okay it's <clears throat> definitely time for some internal work there um, for those of you who work online or you know part part of the time you work online kind of have to modify the card to um, to fit you so that it resonates with your situation um, but I do think <clears throat> And my guides are telling me um, that the message here for you, if that's the case, is remember that your life purpose involves you taking care of yourself, your health, and um, your vitality, and <clears throat> being a, um, a person first before a employee or, you know, whatever. So it's about balancing okay so if it maybe you know if you work online um, maybe separate the time and make sure you're taking time to still take care of you and do your grounding stuff and what you need to do in the real world um, or electronics whatever um, you know and and maybe not, uh, try to avoid getting too distracted and multitasking too much like brushing your teeth and uh, you know talking on the phone to your daughter while you're typing trying to do your work that kind of thing try to separate them and that will help um balance things out okay i hope this was useful beneficial for you and you enjoyed it um, if you'd like more, please let me know. I hope you have a wonderful September. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.